Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use standby on iOS 17. So if you recently update your iPhone to the latest iOS 17 and you want to set up your standby, let me show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is head over to your settings and you need to scroll down to standby. Once you have seen standby, click on it and you need to toggle it on. So for most people, it is turned on by default. So you are going to see night mode option on that. So the night mode allows your standby to change to color red. So you are going to be seeing only color red at night. So if you don't want this to be happening, just toggle it off. And during the day and night, you are going to be seeing different colors in your standby. So the third one allows your standby to display notification. So you can disable it or enable it. And you are going to see this one too. So just check out this and you'll be able to turn on or turn off the one you like or the one you don't like so once you have enabled your standby just go to your iphone lock screen once you go to your iphone lock screen just charge your phone with wireless charger or your normal cable and you need to bend your phone into horizontal so just bend your phone on horizontal and it's going to activate in few seconds so make sure you are charging your device because if you are not charging it it's not going to change so just wait for a few seconds it's going to change to standby so guys can you see it has changed to standby so you are going to see different sessions so i'm going to be explaining it one after the other so let's try so you can just swipe left and right to see different designs so i'm going to be explaining it one after the other so let's this is the first one so with this first one you are going to see some widgets right here like the widgets you usually add to your home screen you are going to see them here on your standby so you are going to see different widgets on this place if you want to edit the widget just long click on it and you'll be able to edit it as you usually edit widgets on your home screen so you can click on this plus to add more widgets you can search for widgets and add them and you're going to see some default widgets you can add so let's say i want to add battery widget so you can just click on add widget and it's going to add to it so you are going to see let's go back guys so that's how to add widgets and you can enable this widget suggestion i'm not going to advise you to enable it i don't know why my mouse is not working with this one so i'm going to continue explaining with just my hand so you can add widgets from this place so let's click on done you can also edit the second widget beside it let's click on done so that's it for this page so let's go back to the second page just swipe left or right and this is the second page so in this page you can add picture and you are going to see the timer at the top corner so if you want to edit the picture just long click on it and you are going to see people so it is the people that are featured that it is showing right here so just click on this plus icon and you'll be able to add picture from your album so let me go to my whatsapp album and i'll be able to add picture from here so let me just select my was let's go back guys let me remove this so let me just click on this plus icon at the top right corner and i'm going to select my zender album so just add album and it's going to be displaying the picture of the album so you can click on this eye icon to off it to turn it off or disable it so you can just turn it off or disable it for each album if you like so let me just be working with this featured album so you are going to see different section and you can swipe up or swipe down to change the pictures if you have added a lot of pictures so let's scroll to the last section and this is the clock section or timer section so you can add different things to this clock and you can change it so if you want to change the color or anything just long click on it and you're going to see float so click on this option right here once you click on that you'll be able to change the time and you'll be able to change the color sorry so just select any color of your choice and once you have select any color of your choice it's going to show up like this so you can scroll to the solar side you are going to see solar section right here 
you can click on this place to edit the color also and you can also scroll and you are going to see the word so you can select it let's long click on it and edit it let's long click and edit it again so you are going to see different sections in this place and can you see this is the analog section so you can just click on this place to edit the time and you can also swipe up or swipe down to change it just try and use this standby and you are going to get used to it in no time at all so sorry if i'm explaining not explaining very well if you found this video helpful smash the like button and subscribe to my channel so that's all about standby if you found this video helpful smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like this thanks for watching guys